Hi, I'm Lisa Stewart. For nearly 30 years, Anton and I have been blessed to own a metaphysical store in New Paltz, New York. Together with our community, we have built the Stewart tradition of Wicca, steeped in Welsh Celtic mythology. We invite you to enjoy our videos, read our book, partake in our workshops and classes, have a reading, visit our store, and help make the Celtica dream come true. This is our life, this is our magic, and this is the Awareness Shop. There's interesting news written in the heavens, and this month is no exception. The focus will be on signs ruled by Saturn, and the places they're visiting and making a mark. The first week of this month should see a marked improvement with the pandemic, as Mars and Venus connect in Capricorn, and trine Uranus in Taurus. Mars, action and passion. Venus, value and love, trine mean they're in harmony with Uranus, which represents advanced knowledge and freedom. I see this as an announcement of moving from the harsh restrictions into a more normal place, if we remember what that was, at least as far as the pandemic goes anyway. I also feel that we'll be getting a very welcome bit of warm weather to usher in the pagan spring, Gualmer, or Imbolc, on the 4th when the sun reaches 15 degrees Aquarius. Also, the first week of the month, we have the Aquarius new moon. And all this means there will be a lot of focus, as I said, on Saturn energy, with the sun, Mercury, Mars, Venus, Saturn, and Pluto, and the new moon, all under Saturn's care. We have a lot to think about. Saturn helps us to be disciplined, courageous, organized and perform great tasks and this energy will be looking out through our life the sun our emotions the moon how we communicate mercury our passions mars and what we hold dear venus don't forget the lessons of saturn and what has been torn down to be rebuilt better pluto good stuff and when Mercury goes direct on the 3rd, there will be no retrograde planets for the entire month. We'll be out of the shadow of the Mercury retrograde on February 23rd. So really, you can expect some good news and some relief and some way to move forward from all these lessons that we have learned, all that we have endured since Saturn and Pluto's conjunction in January of 2020. The new moon also ushers in the Chinese New Year. This will be the year of the water tiger. The easiest way for me to convey this combination of energy is to have you think about Pisces and Leo in a combo pack. Loads of created juices, tons of drama, amazing accomplishments. Now on to the individual scopes. And as always, if you know your rising sign, please read that too. Aries, the Four of Wands. An energy of coming together and being able to enjoy yourself is being offered. Reconnecting to social groups and people that you hold dear. For there is a deep sense of heavy things being lifted from your shoulders. You may even sign a new contract or make a deeper commitment to a partnership or a group. It might be a good idea to pace yourself. I know you have a tendency to rush in and over offer. The idea now is to grow, not exhaust all resources. Taurus, the Ten of Pentacles. A renewed sense of family and support is being offered. Though you may not truly understand where others are coming from, you should feel that you are reconnecting and coming to a place 
where you can be closer and feel more comfortable with their company. I also see this as being a good time to reevaluate your finances and living arrangements, possibly a new job or a new budget, or even a chance of a change of residence could be in the making. Gemini, King of Cups. There may be a realization that what you thought you agreed to is not exactly what you've gotten yourself into. You express yourself in your ideas wonderfully, and others truly respect your point of view. But others may not have been so precise with their offer, and now you may have to renegotiate in order to stay comfortable with the arrangement. Cups are linked to emotions, and the king is the last of this suit. Do not allow relationships to be lost unless you really can't reconcile to something. Something that works for all parties. Cancer, the Five of Pentacles. First, please do not go thinking that all you have sacrificed was for naught. You know that old saying, it's always darkest before the dawn. Well, for you, it's just starting to become that morning twilight. And even though no real action seems to be taken yet, a lot has changed these past few months. And now you should begin to see some forward movement. I see great improvements with your living arrangements and commitments. I also see some improvements with your finances that will make responding to the movement a lot easier. Remember that love is the law. And even though you may be pretty tired of some folks, try to be mindful and respectful as you ease your way out from your current burdens. Leo, the Queen of Cups, it's all in the details. Now is so not the time for outbursts or quick decisions made in angry moments. You will have to live in regret of those things don't do it in the heat of the moment, Leo. Read the fine print, plan, 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 and seek to move into success from a more solid footing with the factors known. If you jump into the unknown right now, just to get moving, it will be very costly in the long run. Turn things on their heads if you have to, to get all the facts. Energy spent being a spy is where the good stuff is for you this month. Virgo, temperance, a burst of healing energy is coming. Do your best to be ready to soak it all in. I feel there will be very good news for you about your health and it will lift your spirits to a much brighter outlook for the whole year ahead. You may also find your creative energy is flowing again. So take back a project or two something that you'd had on hold a long time ago, and I bet you'll find that you're very successful. It's gonna to lead to a lot more positive time for you, dear Virgo. Libra, the emperor. Ah, King Solomon and his infinite wisdom. Venus, your ruling planet, has partnered with Mars and Pluto. A change is gonna come, but not to worry. You really do have a deep well of wisdom and life experience to draw from to navigate with. This will be an amazing opportunity. Passion and drive will be on the forefront. Sometimes you think that you spend too much time and effort thinking or overthinking, but this will not be the case this month. You will have a wealth of knowledge to draw from to make the perfect choices. Let it happen in a way that is just right for you. Scorpio, two of pentacles. Big commitments should yield big payouts. I know it's been a long, hard time for you, but at least you enjoy your own company. Where others may have become sullen or broken, you on the other hand, 
have gone into planning mode, or even plotting mode, may I say. But either way, this should be a good month and bring you just the breakthrough that you've been waiting for. You may very well enjoy two sources of income, one from some mundane work and the other from something that is pure pleasure. The gift you begin to work with that brings you this pleasure will also bring you a steady, positive income. Use this to build for your future and you won't be sorry. Sagittarius, the fool. Such a blessing for you this month. It will truly be a time to reset and begin to enjoy your life again. Not that you haven't stayed positive and found things to be grateful for, but now you will begin to see that there are loads of things to enjoy. And live well. Be truly happy. Things that allow you to be yourself and take a little me time. I do see some spiritual growth too. A higher learning phase begins. You know, those aha moments that bring you great joy. But seriously, I do see you moving into a creative phase and a relaxing time. A time to get your mojo back, Sag. Capricorn, Two of Cups. A big focus on relationships as Mars, Venus, and Pluto meet up this month in your sign. This will highlight in a very undeniable way what your needs are, who you trust, how you want to be loved, what you will accept, and how you will keep or walk away from friendships, family, or relationships. It will be a lot of work to think all this through, but Mars is offering you passion and drive to focus your intentions. Venus is offering you a deep look at what you value and what you really care about. And Pluto is breaking things down, even breaking up unfulfilling relationships and offering a way to rebuild things with better boundaries and a more reliable group of people. Aquarius, the Knight of Swords. Remember, don't shoot the messenger. Something is being announced that will indeed be just what you need to get motivated and impassioned and help you achieve great things. I know you have been working very hard for a long time, but this is different. This is a big kick in the direction the direction that you should be moving. Not just hard work for work's sake, but work for your ability to truly make a difference, not just to yourself, but also to others. The energy that you feel from this change is going to be just awesome. And it's a great start to the next two years or so as you enjoy the visit of Saturn. Pisces, the Nine of Wands. Time to look back on all that you've been through and use what you've learned to make some choices about your future. It's been said that the more things change, the more they stay the same. So this might be a case of a very similar game, but you may notice there are different players. At any rate, I see this time as a positive time a time to build what you love and release what does not meet your truth. You have every right to demand respect, protect what belongs to you, and work on your own happiness. I hope you've all enjoyed the scopes for February 2022. Peace and blessed be.